welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to film quick introduction to this video because I was planning to do vlogmas week five. I know this is now like I'm gonna guess either late January or February. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna post this but yeah I know that it's now obviously quite far past vlogmas week five but I wanted to do it but then I didn't end up doing anything that week and as you know I got a sewing machine if you watched my video what I got for Christmas so I thought that I would include some footage of my sewing journey and um, so I did like a little vlog of it but because I was planning to do vlog with week five I didn't actually film an introduction so this is the introduction and I was using my sewing machine and it made a kind of a weird sound and then something hit me in the eye and my needle snapped and part of the needle went into my eye like not the pointy bit but like literally a part of the metal went into my eye so I'm definitely gonna be sewing with my glasses on from now on I don't think I'm being dramatic when I say it. like it was a pretty lucky escape I had to take a bit of metal out of my eye I tried to take a picture of the metal on my phone sorry like the picture of the metal on my finger once I'd taken out but you can really tell but like it was a bit concerning and I honestly don't really know why it snapped and I'm a bit apprehensive about using it again but and the thing is that my mum and dad don't know how to use a sewing machine either so I'm just a wee bit like apprehensive but either way I'm gonna go have a bath now since I've been talking about it for enough time so I thought I would film a little bit for those who are interested um kind of a little like sewing vlog like a little bit of what I'm up to so I have the brother AE1700 and for those of you who can sew I am a beginner I don't know what I'm doing and for those of you who can't sew I am a beginner and I don't know what I'm doing so just judgment free sewing place so I will show you my machine first of all that would be useful so this is my sewing machine and I have a little table set up here in my room and I have my sewing bag here now what I'm gonna do now is as you can see my this is my upper thread and my upper thread is basically almost empty and my lower thread is pretty good to go as I mentioned can you see me okay as I mentioned last night, I was sewing in my room yesterday and sewing with Kyle. Well, I wasn't sewing with Kyle, but you know what I mean. And my machine made like a weird tuggy noise and then a needle literally broke and hit me in the eye. I will insert a clip of the needle in my hand. So I have my glasses on, like my seeing glasses, and I'm also going to put my blue light glasses on because they're like thicker and they're also plastic. So instead of my glass lenses, I am going to watch the video. These don't fully fit on my face, but they do enough. My sewing machine came with a instructional DVD and the instructional DVD has been uploaded on YouTube. I have the brother, brother sewing machine instruction video. So I'm gonna watch that now because I need to replace my upper thread and what I'm gonna replace it with is, so I'm gonna take these off until I'm actually sewing. So my mom got the polyester spun sewing machine threads. Now they are a lot smaller than the ones that were shown on the video for thread in the bobbin, which is why I think they ran out so quickly. So to replace my white thread, I'm gonna use this cream thread. I think that should be fine. So I'm going to watch the video and show you what I'm doing. Because it never has. And I know that's hard to believe, oh, but it- Oh, yeah, these odds. So yeah, my lower thread is um, fine, I believe. So I'm gonna move on to my upper thread. This video has two billion, no, two million views. We get a lot of ad revenue. Okay, so I'm gonna re obviously remove the thread that I currently have. Okay, so that's out. I'm also gonna ask my dad to make this table a little higher for me because it's a little low. And when he drilled the legs on, I think they could have been drilled a little higher. Okay, so taking my cream thread and you can't actually really see the sewing machine much, can you? Okay. I'm gonna stop recording, turn off my product showcase and start recording again. So I'm gonna pull the bobbin thread up so it was down. Up now, placing my new thread on the spill whatever so the thread's coming out towards me. Putting my thread through the thread guide groove. Taking it through the groove guide, following the numbers. Don't know exactly how much thread I'm supposed to have. I think more is better. I'll just show you that bit. So it has to come from here, down, up, down again. Really don't know if you saw any of that, but yeah, trying to be like somewhat informative. Taking it through, oh my goodness, I'm actually too tall for this one. Needle holder thread guide with my right hand. Press it through down, threading the needle. Raising the presser foot and turning the needle once so that it's 
up and then I pull up the upper thread and I've done something wrong. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there but got it now. So now I'm just pulling the thread out. Let me just check the video. Under the presser foot and pull out some thread. I always have more of one of the threads than the other. Okay. Let's start sewing. So that is me, I'll finish the one for the evening. I actually feel like I learned quite a lot. Like I felt way more confident. Like if it's so hard to explain, like I don't really know the sewing terminology and then I don't know how to explain it either. But like, I just felt so much more confident that I could tell like when things were going wrong or when things had been fixed or like if I ran out of a bit of thread, like when to replace it. So I did, I learned a different type of stitch, which was satin stitching where the needle like goes like A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, whereas the straight stitch just goes like A, 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 if that makes any sense. And now I'm gonna go back to my paint by numbers. I haven't done in a long time and I don't really enjoy this one as much. The last one that I did, I think I did show it on camera, but it probably wasn't part of Vlogmas. The colors were so vibrant and the colours in this one are so not so I'm going to do this now and watch Parks and Rec. I'm trying to do basically five to ten minutes of sewing every day as practice and I'm doing like at the minute to be honest super boring I'm not gonna lie it's just really boring sorry that sounds so harsh because I'm not ready to do like a project like not ready to make something I am really struggling to stitch in a straight line so like you just need to hold the material straight and the machine feeds it through but I'm actually really struggling to do that like and it, it's just practice like it just comes with practice thing so obviously I'm not ready to like make something because I would like it needs to be straight or like it doesn't but like it probably should be so I'm not ready to do anything. So I'm literally just practicing my stitches. That's it. So five to 10 minutes every day. It's the same thing every day. Like I just try and do a run. I do like stitch a stitch, reverse stitch, stitch the length of my tea towel, reverse stitch, take it, cut it off. I have aligned. This is my practice tea towel. I'm using white thread. So obviously I can barely see what I'm doing. But like obviously as you can see, my tea towel has lines up and down it. So I just try and follow the lines. I've just lost my material. How did I lose my material? Oh, it's here. So I have these other materials that I thought like would go, these are like old t-shirts that I've caught. Like I thought these other materials, the white thread would show up quicker. So I want to do it. But then I figured I have a cutting board and I have a rotary cutter. I do have fabric scissors, but I figured to use these extra sharp titanium blades to cut the top instead. So I thought I'd just like do a very casual little introduction vlog. And I'll make like a 15 to 20 minute vlog of my first week of sewing, which is not interesting at all. I did mention the needle going into my eye and then my presser foot came off. So I replaced my presser foot today. Kai had replaced the needle because I was taking metal out of my eye at the time. But yeah, so it's not been too busy. I've just been literally doing stitches. I am getting a lot more confident with it. Like I know I know what to do. And like today to start, like I didn't need to watch the wee introduction video. So I am getting there. It's just maybe not the most interesting thing ever. Okay, so this is my blade. It is the Drifty Auto Cutter Rotary Cutter Handle. So like, this is what it looks like. And then you, and that's what makes your blade comes out. So I'm actually a little bit nervous because these do look like extremely sharp, but I'm just gonna see if I can cut this material. And like, I don't even know exactly is this what like rotary cutters are supposed to be used for. So I'm just like having a little bit of an experiment really. So basically when I tried to rip the other side of the material it obviously went pretty wonky so i have this little like v of material to cut so i'm just going to lie it flat mm, i wonder do you should you better do it on like the inside or the outside and just like oh my god that's like actually scarily sharp that literally just like sliced through that. I'll zoom in a bit maybe and see if that helps you see a bit better. I'm gonna like straighten up this hem here. That is so sharp. I like that it like you have to extend it out so like it should be theoretically quite safe. So I'm gonna sew, I'm just gonna literally, oh, is there another? Oh no, there's, I thought there was another label to cut. Yeah, so I'm gonna sew this. I'll like let you see the machine just to see what it looks like if you care. And yeah, that's my little like sewing update for the day. So hopefully, oh no, you really can't see that okay. It's because the sun is very bright, but there's nothing I can really do about that. So I'm just making sure my thread here is around the back, then, Sliding my material under, pulling the thread around the front so that I can see it. Needle 
this is very, actually a very slippery material so I'm gonna move it across like to like here because otherwise it's literally gonna slip off the machine so there hold it down my needle down press her foot down machine on and then down on the foot so I'm gonna reverse stitch then stitch then do a reverse again then stop machine off press your foot up needle up material out there's a little thread cutter cut my thread and material so i have to say i'm actually quite surprised because that material it's stretchy material so like it's clumped at the end but like that's probably like honestly the straightest i've ever done and it might have been because it was a small bit of material so obviously these we loose threads i would just cut that is my stitch now i probably shouldn't have done a stretchy material to show you is because like it's catching like all in there which like it wouldn't on normal material but that's pretty straight quite pleased with that although not that you will be able to see it i think it'll be too small there's one thread there in the middle which is like bigger than the rest so i'm just curious like what would have caused that to happen but anyway that is my sewing update for the day so i'll talk to you after so that is how i've been getting on so far with sewing obviously as you can see i haven't really done anything particularly advanced we'll say i'm finding it really quite tricky Um, it's a lot to like learn and even the most basic of like we projects you still need to use the actual machine which is the tricky part hopefully i will make something cool at least at some point during this year and until then thank you so much for watching my videos if you want to see something similar or see anything in particular let me know down in the comments and i'll see you in the next one Bye. Depending on when this is going live, my giveaway is either just closed or still open and I'm wearing one of my Rainbow Hoops earrings. So there's two pairs available for these in the giveaway, a black pair and a green pair of varying sizes. I got the lilac for myself. Either you could get a pair of these, two pairs of these in the giveaway, or you could look at Rainbow Hoops Instagram page here and buy a pair directly off her.